Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here with a review of the JGRC H98. Now the H98 is a little crony. As you can see, it's a little bit smaller than a mini quadcopter, but uh, larger than a micro. So it's somewhere in between, uh, one of the cronies. This is an X5C, by the way, if you're wondering. Um, but this little quadcopter comes with a camera. Uh, this is a little 0.3 megapixel camera. So we're going to try that out today. Um, let's go over its features. Uh, it does have one key return, which you activate by pressing this button here. It does have flip. Um, you change the rates by pressing the uh, yaw trim button, what would normally be the yaw trim button if you want to go to beginner to expert. It does have a little 400 milliamp hour battery in there, 3.7 volts. Uh, other batteries will fit like 380s and uh, even smaller than the 400s. But other than that, uh, it's just a basic quadcopter with a 0.3 megapixel camera. Now this camera is swivelable up and down. I'm going to leave it a little bit upward because I want to do forward flying and I want to be able to see um, the horizon during forward flight. But let's give it a try. And we are going to go out in the field. I'm going to set the headless mode as the pylon down there, as I normally do. Actually, let's use that pylon today as our headless mode bearing. So I can test out the one key return very early on here. By the way, this does have an on-off switch. And let's turn it on. On-off switch. I'm going to point the quadcopter in the direction of the pylon down there. You can uh, reset the headless mode bearing by uh, pointing down and to the left and I believe you can actually calibrate the gyros by pointing down both sticks and pointing them to the right. So this is a resettable uh, headless mode bearing. Okay, I'm binding the quadcopter. Oh, you don't need to bind the quadcopter. It binds itself immediately with the transmitter. So I want to turn on the camera. So you act point, or this is the camera button by the way. Pushing down on the camera and it is recording. I got a red light. Let's go for a flight. Oh man, nice and smooth and quiet. <laughs> but, let's go upwind here. The range with the camera on. What is the range of this quadcopter? Okay, let's go into a rotate. Range is only about 50 meters, folks, with the camera, so keep that in mind. I'm going to just do a rotate here. So th this is the max altitude you probably want to take this. It does drop out when it loses contact with the transmitter. That's good, so it doesn't fly away. But its range is not spectacular. It rebinds, and there we go. <laughs> it's a rebind on it. Okay, so let's fly it that direction and go upwind a bit. Rotate it and let it fly by. Again, this is only a three megapixel camera on this thing. It's not spectacular. It's not meant to be. It's, it's a cheap little quadcopter. I'm going to fly it until it drops. And there we go. It's dropping again. <laughs> so, yeah, about 50 meters. Now, let me bring it down. I want to turn off that camera. I'm going to land it and verify that the camera turns off. I want to see if what its flight ability is. Okay, camera coming off. And the red light is off. Okay, let's see if it remembers that headless mode bearing. We're gonna do a one key return. Let's go off toward the pylon a bit. That was our one key, that was our headless mode bearing. <laughs> no, it seems to be. It's in headless mode right now. That did not seem to be the headless mode bearing. Maybe I need to set that before it takes off. So let's go over here. I am pointing it in the direction again of that pylon. Turning the trans or the transmitters on. And I'm going to do both a gyro and reset of the headless mode bearing. You, you hold your sticks down and to the right of for a few seconds for both of those. And let's see if one key return works properly this time. Let's send it down over to there. Pressing the button. And this time, yeah, it's coming back down there. So you have to set that headless mode bearing beforehand. And it stays in headless mode, as you can see here. To the right, forward, and with headless mode you can do pirouettes, obviously. 
So remember to set the headless mode bearing if you want to use um, one key return and headless mode. You have to set it beforehand by pulling your sticks down and to the right. And also while you're doing that, you might as well do a gyro calibration too. Okay. Headless mode is off now. Let's go to check out its flips. Let's bring it in closer. Yeah. Left flip. Let's bring it down closer so you can see that better. Left flip. Or that's a left flip. Forward flip. Back flip. You can do those. Okay, how about barrel rolls? Oh yeah. Let's go to higher rate. Yeah, it seems. Let's try that. I'm not sure what happened there when I did the. <laughs> okay, I pressed this rate button and it seems to do something different than it's supposed to be doing. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what that is. Let's try that out again. Okay. I guess this is high rate. I selected high rate, and this is the funnels that does in high rate, which is pretty darn good. That's its yaw rate. Let's go back to beginner. Oh no, it's even more. <laughs> I selected, I guess there's an intermediate. This is expert, which is pretty damn fast. <laughs> Do that again up close. Holy moly, what's the funnels that can do like that? Can it do funnels? Not very good. <laughs> it just does wild gyrations at that rate. So yeah, this is, has extreme rate too. This is expert funnels. Okay, let's see if we go back to beginner. Okay, that's, I guess that's a beginner rate. Let me land it again and recalibrate the gyros one more time. It doesn't explain in the manual which one is calibration of gyros. It's either to the left, and one of them is also calibration of the headless mode bearing. Let's see if this sets the headless mode bearing. Let me press one key return. Yeah, so dotted to the left sets the headless mode bearing because it knew that was the uh, new bearing. So the down and to the right sets the gyros. Let's set the gyros. Let's reset the gyros. So down and to the right is setting the gyros. The reason I'm doing that is I want to see how stable this is. Can I do hands off flying in other words? And yeah, you can. So yeah, it's you can do hands off for Steve. Steve always likes to see that. That's a very important test for him. Reducing the throttle a bit. So yeah, this is a nice little beginner's quadcopter. Stable flyer. In beginner's rate. Uh, range is only about 50, 60 meters. How about without the camera operating? Let's find out. Let's set it up and see if we can get any more range. I don't have... Uh -oh. Maybe I can get more range without the camera turned on. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's about 60 meters. Still, still it's pretty darn good. 60 meters for this little quadcopter is reasonable. Let's bring it back in again. It's got a good flight time. I'm still flying well. Let's go back to uh, intermediate and play with that. Let's try that flip button. Play with flip again. Let's try the barrel roll. Ah, I didn't want to do a barrel roll. <laughs> okay, the lights are starting to blink. Oh no, they're not. Yeah, they are. And it's not flipping anymore. So the battery's getting low. Let's see how long the battery lasts before it drops. I'm bringing it down low. Flight aggressive. Let's 
Let's go back to beginner. That's expert. That's beginner. And get my thumbnail here before the battery dies. Pretty little quadcopter. The only thing I don't like is the range, 50 meters, but 50 meters I guess is fine for most people. 50, 60 meters. Okay, I'm applying increased throttle and there goes the battery. That's the flight time that you get with this little quadcopter. Got some dust on it. But again, this is JGRC H98. Uh, inexpensive drone. It's about only it's under thirty dollars. I believe it's running currently about twenty eight dollars. A um, good little quadcopter, and it comes with a camera. So I hope you enjoyed this flight, quadcopter one hundred one. Let me hold it like this. Maybe that gives me a better picture. Quadcopter one hundred one. Signing out.